Yeah, and Chris, it depends on the situation. It's at a cost of nearly a million dollars over the next five years. So far, the reviews are good for those who we talk to here in Turlock. Zach Gottlieb has seen some unusual things come through his pawn shop in his four years in Turlock. We, we did have somebody actually bring in a meteorite. It's still here up in the front of the store if you want to. Now, what won't be so unusual around his Main Street store is seeing police officers with body-worn cameras. With the current climate and everything that's going on, it's probably a, a good situation. The camera is not on all of the time, but is activated in specific situations, including when a gun is removed from a holster, when emergency lights are activated in patrol vehicles or with the sound of gunfire. As part of department policy, an officer is not required to obtain consent from someone in a public place or in any location, quote, where an officer is lawfully present. We ask for your understanding as we begin with the implementation of this new technology into our daily procedures. It will take some time for officers to acclimate themselves with this new piece of equipment. A hairstylist for 56 years, Mary Perez says Turlock has good police officers and welcomes the cameras on cops. I think they have to behave a little bit, you know, because it's being recorded what they're, what they're doing. Her client, Pat Rhodes, who says she's lived in Turlock nearly 60 years, is all for the body-worn cameras, too. And I'm glad that, that they have this to protect the policemen. Protect them, too. Yeah. Yes, it protects them and it protects us. Now, we asked for our own interview with the interim police chief. We were told that he didn't have the time and no one else was made available. We're live in Turlock on Main Street. Back to you. Mm -hmm. Our Kurt Rivera live for us tonight, sir. We thank you very much.